Welcome, 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 Faith Bridge. We are so glad you're joining us for worship and prayer tonight. I wanted to read a little bit from Psalm 34 just to kind of get us on the same page this evening together. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces will never be ashamed. We're so thankful that we get to worship a risen, reigning, mighty King together. And so we want you to sing with us. I'm here with my friends, Cliff and LA and Jesse, and uh, we just wanna invite you to jump in with us, worship with us, sing along, pray with us, and uh, we will just bless our Creator together. So here we go. We love you, Lord. We praise you tonight. God is able. He will never fail. He is almighty God. Greater than all we see. Greater than for gathering with us uh, if you're with your family or alone wherever you are thanks for joining us this evening so 
these family prayer and worship nights, um, you know, our purpose is just to have a space for you to kind of gather around and recenter. And I know some days are, are long and hard and we're tired of each other. And so uh, I wanted to invite my friend Cliff here to just chat a little bit about worship. So Cliff, you, a lot of you probably know Cliff. He helps lead worship. He is a husband and father and Jesus follower. And so how are you doing? How's your family doing, Cliff? We are doing good. We are doing good. Took a little while to get used to this whole quarantine thing, but we're, we're hanging in. Good. Well, Cliff and Geneva, his wife, are awesome parents. And uh, so I wanted to just chat with Cliff a little bit about how, how they incorporate worship and prayer into their family and into their home. And so... You know, did you grow up around worship and God and church, or is that something you came to later? How, what's your story on that? Yeah, so I, I pretty much grew up in the church. Um, my dad was singing the choir. I pretty much grew up in the choir stand. Um, my mom, uh, you know, she helped out a lot in the church as well. My uh, grandfather on my mom's side was a deacon, so he actually he helped build the church that, oh, nice. that we uh, that we went to and then my uh my grandma was like head of the food ministry so okay and then my godfather was a pastor so <laughs> we had a, a very rich heritage you yeah. know growing up in the church yeah well how do you i know you guys are super involved in church and we're so grateful for that thankful for that um how do you bring worship and prayer and the things that we do especially during this season when we're always home yeah. how do you bring that into your home how do you lead your family like practically in those things well um we always make it a point to have some type of bible time and we try to do it every night you know before bed just to kind of wind down um recently we just finished a study on ephesians nice. um really cool on uh, right now media <laughs> yeah uh, so cool. um we always incorporate at least some type of Bible story, some type of Bible time before bed, you know, since, you know, from the time they were little babies to, to now. So now, um, you know, if, if we're tired and we want to just go to bed or just get them to bed, like, you know, dad, mom, you know, it's, it's Bible time. Let's, yeah. let's, let's get this done. So um, it's pretty much ingrained in them now that, you yeah. know, this is what we do every day. We, you know, we're not at church, but, you know, we're still going to worship at home. Yeah, totally. That's so good. So you've built in sort of a routine and it makes me think of, that passage in Deuteronomy where, where Moses is saying, talk to your kids about these things, about yeah. these truth when you sit and when you walk and when you sleep and rise. And you guys have put that into practice. And that's that's awesome. That's so, so powerful. And um, what would you say like to, to moms and dads? I know your kid, what are your kids' ages? Um, so we have four. Um, the oldest is 13. I'm gonna think about this, 13. <laughs> 10, almost nine, and then four. So two oldest are girls, two youngest are boys. Nice. So they're getting a little bit past the little stage. Yeah. But what would you say to moms and dads who are gathered and listening and in their homes so much, you know, with young kids? Um, how can they make prayer and worship part of life, part of every day? Um, I would just say just to you know, stress the importance of it. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big sermon. Yeah. You know, it can just be a scripture. Um, there is uh, a blessing in, uh, I wanna say it's number six, you know, every night we, we pray that over our kids. So, you know, they hear that, they're gonna, they're gonna see that. And then that just becomes part of their, their daily routine. And, you yeah. know, they, they see that at home and that just becomes part of them. Yeah, that's so good. Um, with, with my growing up, I grew up really involved in church as well. My dad was a pastor. and um, But some, somehow in my mind, there was a little bit of a disconnect between, okay, we go to church and we're kind of one way. Right. And then at home, we're another way. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't always, you know, there was a little bit of discombobulation there. And I know, you know for our kids, like, we want to just be the same. Like, who we are on a stage, who we are at home, obviously when we're stressed out and, you know, we're not going to be exactly. Oh, yeah, that happens. We're not going <laughs> to yell at the congregation. No. No. Uh, but I think it's so important for, for it not to be, oh, we go and we behave this way when we're at church, but then we're different people uh, apart from that. And I, I see that in you in Geneva. I know that you walk these things out and you bless your kids by modeling these things, not just talking. Um, and I'm so grateful for your example. And um, I think 
all of us need to encourage each other oh, to yeah. grow in that, you know, for parents or not, you know, whoever we're walking through life with, these these truths about who God is are meant to be lived out and walked out. And so uh, thanks for, for sharing your thoughts on that, Cliff. And um, we're going to pray a little bit now and then go in and sing a couple more songs. But Cliff, would you just pray, uh, pray us into these next songs and maybe just pray specifically for our moms and dads uh, yeah. that God would lead them as they're leading their little Absolutely. ones. Let's pray. Oh, Father God, um, we just thank you for this opportunity um, to worship you. I know this is a, a different situation than we're used to. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, Lord, you know, you said we're two or three are, ga are gathered together. You're there in the midst, Lord. Um, so we thank you for the opportunity just to, to worship you and to praise you. Um, for the, you know, the moms and dads, Lord, I pray that you will just give them peace in this time of uncertainty, in this time of, of you know, what we would say is chaos, but it's no surprise to you. But um, Lord, put on their hearts, you know, your word, write, write your word on their hearts, Lord, um, that they may, you know, pass, you know, these scriptures on and, and this worship and this practice of worship to their children. And I pray that you open the hearts of the children, Lord. Um, that you know, they will see you and that ultimately that you be lifted up, that you be glorified, Father. Um, so we just thank you um, again for all that you're doing in our lives. Um, thank you for your word. Thank you for your son. And we just love you and honor you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that we get to worship you. Thank you that you are with us and you are for us. Y'all sing this with us. Light of the world. You stepped out into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. Here I am to worship. Here I am to worship. Here I am.
of joy and peace. God, you are the fountain of life. And we thank you for this time. We thank you for all that you are. And we pray that you would heal our land. God, we pray for those who've been affected by COVID. We pray that you would bring comfort to those who mourn, uh, that you would bring strength to the weary, that you would provide for those who are hurting financially, uh, and that your church would rise up and be all that you created her to be. Uh, would you work in and through us uh, in the strong name of Jesus? Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us, church. It's been great to worship together. Until next time, y'all, go in peace and be well.